And those 4th of July plans, they are looking very different mm -hmm. for most of us. We didn't celebrate red, white and boom yesterday, which is totally weird not to be like extremely yes. tired from having to stay up covering that. <laughs> Always um, worth it. But, yeah. oh. but and with COVID-19, you've been working on all these experiments at home mm -hmm. and posting them to social media. So you found a way to do fireworks in your own home that does not yes. pose any kind of fire hazard. Yeah, no fire, no explosions, no loud booms. And you know what? If you go to bed early like Hattie and me, or maybe you just don't have a fireworks to display to go to. Right <laughs> <laughs> well, this is something you can do even in the middle of the day, and it's really easy. What you need are two clear containers, some food coloring, oil, and water. So in this experiment, I'm using some vegetable oil, just some water out of the sink, and I went ahead and filled up one of the containers most of the way full, so a little bit more than three-fourths of the way full. You don't need to be too precise with this. I'm going to slide this roll of paper towels behind it so maybe you can see here in a minute a little better with what's going on. And your other container, you need to fill it maybe with an inch or two of the oil. You're eventually going to be combining these two. So just make sure that it doesn't overflow when you do combine them. Okay. This one, okay, this might be pushing a little bit. We'll pour a little more back in. <laughs> a little ambitious there. Very similar to mine. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm like, yeah, looks yeah. good enough, right? Lined up. <laughs> and one more thing that you need is some food coloring. Make sure you get the water-based food coloring, which is the one that'll normally be in the baking aisle. Okay. And add a few drops into your oil. You can even add a few colors, and then. Here's kind of a learning curve in itself where you kind of watch and wait and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Now, normally when you add food coloring to something, it totally changes the color. Oh, wait, I can set it back down. Instead, what you're getting from this is that since it's a water-based food coloring, all of the color, which is literally just pretty much different colored water, it just kind of balls up. And the big reason for that is because, well, oil and water have very different makeups. So to play with this a little more, let's give it a little swirl and watch and see what happens. See if we actually can change the color of that water. Well, you'll notice really not a whole lot different. I'm going to set this back down. It looks And cool. instead, yeah, kind of what we got was that as the water kind of broke apart, well, it mixed with the oil again and didn't mix again. So we've just had, instead of those bigger balls of color, have some smaller ones. Mm -hmm. So now here's kind of the tricky part. You need to very carefully pour your oil and food coloring on top of your glass with the water in it. So, is there any like method to that madness or are you just kind of like trying not to spill it? Just try it. Mostly trying not to spill it. You don't okay. want to pour it all in once that we we carefully kind of get everything in okay. there. Okay. So don't just drop it all in at once. Yes. Okay. And luckily I didn't pour too much in there. Now we just kind of wait and watch and see what happens. You'll notice right away that the oil all sits on top of the water. That's because not only do they have that different chemical makeup, but they also have different densities. So Oil is less dense, so essentially less heavy than the water, so that's why it sits on top. And remember how we were talking about how the food coloring, it's basically just little balls of water with different colors. Eventually, since it's more dense, it's going to sink right back down to that line with the oil and water, and it's kind of getting going now. And as those food coloring drops start to hit that line, mm -hmm. oh, they there it goes. burst, kind of like giving yourself your own little fireworks display in a cup. Yeah. So a, it's a, sm a smaller, much quieter. I like it though. Yes, it's kind of a fun thing that you can do even with your family. I think I, my niece is two years old. We've kind of showed her this and she's had a fun time with it too. So it's something mm -hmm. the whole family can do, or especially since we oh, aren't able to get out to those. There we go. It may not have that same effect as red, white, and boom, but you know what? If you have to stay inside in the AC, it's not too bad of an alternative. <laughs> you like my sound? <laughs> I do. And then you've got Hattie just making the music in the background. You can even be your own DJ for this fireworks display. Yeah, I know. You know me. I just start singing and, and <laughs> for no apparent reason. Oh, I love it. It's yeah. very fitting for our fireworks I display. I like it. That is so much safer than anything I could ever do. So, yes. and I mean... I and I have this whole experiment on NBC4i.com slash weather, so I can show you another breakdown of it. If you go check that out, check my Facebook page. Our local scientist, <laughs> in case you didn't know. I mean, this one's <laughs> beauty and brains, that's for sure. We'll be right <laughs> oh, back. Thank you.